Hi, welcome to the introductory level workshop called Be the Master of Your Moodle. In this workshop we will explore the basic features of Moodle and become comfortable teaching and navigating in the Moodle environment. <coughs> My name is Ellen and I will be your facilitator. Rather than read the bio on this slide, I think I'll just share a little bit about myself. I'm currently the Director of Online Curriculum at the State University of New York at Empire State College, where among other things I'm assisting with their migration to Moodle. Migrating off of a proprietary system to Moodle is not new to me, as I also led similar migrations at the Sage Colleges and Plymouth State University. I've been a fan of Moodle for a long time. I've been running it on my own server for more than six years. I've given numerous presentations on Moodle and more recently Mahara as well. <clears throat> Mahara is an open source ePortfolio that integrates with Moodle. Users of that integrated system fondly call it Mahoodle. I recently published a book on Mahara called the Mahara Cookbook. I'm very happy to be the facilitator of this Moodle workshop and hope that my enthusiasm for this wonderful tool will provide you with a worthwhile experience. As you may have heard, a new version of Moodle, known as Moodle 2, was recently released. This is the version of Moodle we will be using. Moodle is an open source, web-based learning management system used by educational institutions all over the world. Moodle's numerous features were developed with a focus on collaboration, communication, interactivity, and critical reflection to support constructivist methodologies. In this introductory workshop, you will learn many of the fundamental features of Moodle as you build your own Moodle course. While we will not explore the advanced features of Moodle, you will leave this course with the skills necessary to offer a complete course in Moodle, complete with grading. I will hold regular office hours online so you can stop by and ask your questions or get assistance. If you wish to explore some of the more advanced features of Moodle, you'll want to register for the upcoming Advanced Level Workshop. Although we won't be exploring the more advanced tools, you will get a very thorough introduction to the Moodle environment in this workshop. We will explore the course settings, learning how to apply themes and add blocks, which many of us also refer to as widgets. Because discu discussion boards are the foundations of many online courses, we will become familiar with the five different forums Moodle affords us in addition to the news forum. We'll create assignments or drop boxes. There are four different kinds in Moodle. Using the Add a Resource menu, we will learn two different ways of adding a syllabus and the advantages and disadvantages of both. We'll even tackle grading, setting up a gradebook with weighted grades and grade some forms and assignments. Finally, you'll learn how to pack up your newly created course and take it with you to use on your own Moodle. So let's begin with a little more information about the workshop. Our goal is that by the end of this workshop you will be able to develop and run an entire course in Moodle. To meet that goal there are a number of objectives, the first of which is that you will set up a course that includes the application of a theme and the addition of at least one block outside of the default blocks. The course setup is also expected to include a syllabus, module headings, and labels four different kinds of forums, and four different kinds of assignments. Aside from the news forum, which really just functions as a way to post announcements, Moodle has five different forums. This includes a forum displayed in a blog-like format and a Q&A forum. The second objective of this workshop is that you will have an understanding of the five different kinds of forums and how and why you would use a particular forum. The third objective is designed to ensure you are comfortable with Moodle's gradebook and grading features. To ensure that, we expect that you will be able to set up a gradebook with weighted grades, manage the gradebook, and grade assignments and forums. Finally, it is important to experience a course from the student's perspective, to understand how they will submit an assignment, 
how they will participate in the various forums, and even how they might see their grades. Each of the modules in this workshop will begin with a short tutorial, after which you will begin to add the content to your course. This will include picking a theme for your course, adding an HTML block, adding module headings and labels where necessary. You will upload a syllabus and also copy and paste it into a web page that will link off of the course page. You will set up forums in your course and post in the forums of two other individuals' courses. There will be one graded forum in this workshop in which you will be asked to discuss the various types of forums and uses for them. You will add assignments to your course and submit assignments to one other individual's course. You will set up a gradebook that uses weighted grades. And you will get to practice grading, which will help you to understand how to grade assignments in Moodle as well as how they display in the gradebook. I know it might sound like a lot of activity, but don't let that overwhelm you. It will be easier than it sounds, and when you're done, you will feel confident about teaching in Moodle. So, to clarify, there will be four graded assignments in this workshop. The first is a graded discussion, which I mentioned previously. You will be asked to discuss the various types of forums in Moodle, as well as when and why you would choose one over the other. The second assignment will be the setup of your course. I will post a rubric that will be used for assessing that. Setting up and managing the gradebook will be another assignment for which you will be assessed. And finally, you will be expected to post to the forums in two other participants' courses and submit assignments to one other participant's course. This will allow everyone to experience grading these types of activities which will help complete the understanding of Moodle's gradebook. To review, there will be one graded discussion. To receive a grade of satisfactory, simply participate in the discussion and respond thoroughly and accurately, where appropriate, to the questions. If your post needs revision, you can simply reply to it with your revisions based on feedback I will provide. For the Building Your Course assignment, I will attach a rubric and clearly indicate what is necessary for satisfactory completion. If your course needs revision, I will provide the feedback so that you will be able to make any necessary changes. Setting up the gradebook will include creating categories, setting aggregations, manually adding a graded item, and grading forums and assignments. Participation in the forums of two other participants and submitting assignments to one other participant's course will be assessed as either complete or incomplete. It is necessary to complete this assignment in order to receive a satisfactory assessment. You will be able to take your completed course with you, so have fun building it and interacting in others' courses. I'm really looking forward to moodling with you. Thank you for your time and attention.